Well, good evening, everybody. Here we are again, tile number 11 of 24 of our Advent tiles. It's a, a little bit of a, not a tricky one today, but you can see that I've actually joined number 11 to number one, because they're sort of next to each other. So by having this in the same row, I know that when I turn it over, this is going to be the top, bottom. So exactly the same scene numbers. It's also probably going to be a little bit handy to have tile number six with you as well. Now, I don't know if you're sticking these down as you're going, but because this one's going to sit there, let's just have a look at this. You can see already that some of this is actually going to make its way up into here. So it's always nice to sort of know what's around you and plan a little bit ahead for that. So I'm just going to move that to one way for a second and bring this one in. And you can see already that there's certain things going to be coming into this this little tile here. So this is uh, it's been a bit of a busy day today. We've had classes back up at uh, Tangley Towers, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's been lovely. But you know, not so the weather's not so good. So you know, it was a little bit foggy coming home, but hopefully everybody's got home safely or to their hotels, ready to go home tomorrow. So here we go with a pencil going to come on in and mark in my middle just as always just so we've got that and we can see where we're headed okay so the first thing to do is let's have a look at this tile for both of them and you can see that this is quite clearly coming in here so where is it going to stop now let's have a look I'm going to go not from the middle I'm going to go just a little bit further in just middle there just not quite to the middle and I'm going to bring in a curve. Okay, I'm actually going to go a little bit rounder. There you go. A bit of a curve there. All right. Oh, hello, everybody. Yeah, hi. Yeah, we really have enjoyed the classes. I will take some photos of my products that I did and put them online in a short while. So you can see what we did. Okay. So what I want to do, I want quite a large one here. You see, this is always stepping down, isn't it? So this one's got to be higher than this one's got to be higher. So I want to come in maybe just above that line and put quite a large one in there. You see, let's bring that down there. And then here you can sort of make a decision. Looking at these, there probably needs to be two in here, doesn't there? So let's do that and let's bring that one down. There. And this one's going to come round there, see? Down and maybe into there. So we've got this continuous shape going on here. Uh, yes, Joe, we did do classes again. We do the whole weekend when we're going to do classes. Because a lot of people, we travel from quite a distance. So we always want to make sure that, you know, you get the most out of it. So, yeah, we've done all weekend. And then, of course, tomorrow's... Uh, Hobby makers, busy, busy days. <laughs> All right, so there's that little bit done. So let's address this next bit because if you see here, look, whatever's happening here is coming around onto this tile and up into here. So I can't really tape it. So I'm gonna hold it. You might want to put a bit of paper underneath, and you could draw this shape. There you go. So I'm gonna follow it around there. Here you are. And then this one too, see, it's going to sort of come around here. Maybe keeping that same line. There you go. And that just sort of helps with that a little bit, doesn't it? Okay. So if I just focus on this now, we've, we've sort of got the, the bits in that we need. So I'm going to draw this first bit in, in pen. Here we go. So starting sort of, doesn't matter where actually, coming from here. And uh, put those in there. Now, there's nothing stopping you doing all this in pencil to start with. But where's the fun in that? And then seeing where it leads. And of course, you might come across a couple of little issues here and there as you need to sort of sort them out. But it'll be fine. So, looking at this again, I'm going to follow that design around. So there we go, got one of those shapes. And there it's just a part done, so it's going to go into that next tile. Same bit here, round. And again. 
Now this one, because it's going to be quite large and it's sort of part of this, I'm going to just come on in and draw that little bit in in pencil because then I can make sure it fits in with that. So that should be okay. So then let's look at uh, this one. I'm going to draw this in with pen, just this line to start with. And then let's just bring in maybe a start in the middle. Now, of course, we're going to have to match this up later, but that's fine. They can all be different sizes if need be. Oh, Rose, it might be a new pen. I did say that new ones were coming. But this just might be the colour of the new ones. I'm not sure when they're going to be in. There you go. And then little curves in each one there. See, just going from one side to the other. So you're going to get a bit of that one. And then little dots either side. There we go, little dots. Okay, now see, I'm just filling them in as I go as well. So you can choose to do them in a different colour if you want. Sticking with the black. Okay. So our next little bit then, let's have a look. We've got this little shape here. So I'm going to bring that in and over to the tile there. <laughs> Sorry, Sue. But you know what? If I told you everything, it wouldn't be a surprise, would it? There'd be no fun in that then if you knew what was coming. Okay, so I'm just adding those in there. So next little bit. Going to start, let's have a look. So in the middle. Now if I was to look at this one and then six again, you can see that what's happening. So we've got these little curly designs. They're going to sort of go up there. So I'm going to sort of leave a bit of a gap, I think, and put some of them in. Let me go. Round we go. Let's put another one this way. See, just going underneath there round and I'll put another one in here there we are. see if they sort of come as a bit of a pair and then I'm going to leave this one because as it comes to it I can then gauge a little bit more in terms of space what's going on there uh, yes I am Louise I'm on at 7 a.m in the morning and three o'clock in the afternoon so yes I'll be on there some bits and pieces. There we go. See, I'm gonna work along there. Maybe a little bit there. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Sue. I don't want to spoil the surprise. There we go. Maybe another one. Now look. So we're going. If you're gonna be careful, you've got to look at where these lines stop and start, haven't you? It's quite a skinny one. That's okay. I'm gonna put one up here as well. Okay, not so bad. So looking at this shape, actually let's do this bit first. I'm going to create little aura shapes. So just sort of follow the shapes inside. I will, Louise. Take my time. You see any little gaps that we've got? I'm going to just fill in with these little shapes there. See this one, I'm, I'm going to put a little one in there. There, one here. There we go. Just sort of, if you've got space, you can uh, add them in. And of course, I'm going to leave it there because this, I don't know how that's going to work there. Okay. Any larger pieces we can fill with some bubbles. And then any little bits left with a bit of ink. See, just working my way around. There we go. And same with this one. Now, if it's so small that you can't get any in, then just fill it with ink. It's fine. But I can get a few in there, so that's okay. And then let's have a look at this bit. So we've got this started off here. So I'm going to bring in another curve 
you see just sort of repeating what I've got there so that's two lines so let's put two lines in and then same again so that's going to go under there slightly I'm not going to take it completely under there just sort of so that little bit and then here's our row of little shapes so we're going to miss a row just like we did there look and then add another row of those shapes in you see I'm not taking it underneath everything I don't think we need to so just sort of the, see that's going to go behind there maybe one in there look so you've got that little bit going on all right let's have a little look at that then there we go you see how it sort of connects across this connects in there this I'm going to leave this little bit because Oh, here we go that way so when it does come into here I, I've got a nice flow through there maybe maybe so let's put some pencil in on the bits that we do have I think first thing though let's remove that line in there we don't want to see that okay so there's that bit and let's start with this bit I'm going to go both sides, both sides, like so. I'm going to leave that till I know what I'm doing with that. Put some pencil in through there. And same sort of thing here, Luke. We're going to go on the inside of that. And then here, see there, I've actually gone in that side, so I'll repeat that. There we go. And of course, I'm going to go, actually, I mean that I've got that tile there as well, over the top of those. And then this one, see I've not, see, I've not done much with this one, I've followed that through over there. And there's not much going on there, so I can just put a little bit in. And let's put a little bit under in there and a couple little highlights maybe on those. Oh, I didn't actually do that on those, but I can come back to it. It's fine. Although it is coming together, isn't it? You're starting to see little snippets of things now and certain patterns that are, are starting to come out. And the, well, I mean, tomorrow we're actually halfway there, aren't we? Which is crazy you think about it so we're, we're gonna get pieces now starting to join together and actually i think every piece that we do from now on is gonna join to another piece so whether you're actually uh, attaching them like this as you go or whether you're doing them separately or whether you're putting them in your sketchbook everything's gonna start to sort of come together now all right so let's put a little bit of shadow in there. See, it doesn't take much, and certainly because we've got that colour in the background, shading's not uh, too bad at all. Let's do this bit. See, that's going to go over everything there. And then just these little bits here, so little zigzags either side. Same on this one. You see, just giving that a little bit of light down the middle there. Just a little bit as we go. And a little bit there. There we go. So, okay. So, there it is. There's our tile. Let's just have a quick look at that one. Uh, a second. There it is. And there it is, joined to the one next to it. So if I just bring my sketchbook in just for a minute. Here we go. So let's move out a little bit. There we are. So here it is, look. This one is number one, which was that one there. And again, these tiles are a little bit smaller because they're in my sketchbook. So you can see, look, just about half a centimetre smaller. So you, you, you just get the idea of it. And then, of course, you can see that this one bits in there like so so there you're going to get this band of 
something coming across. But every single one now, as you can see, is going to have something attached to it. So I think it was pretty well planned out, that. So there we go, tile number 11. Tomorrow, number 12. Gosh, where's number 12? Oh, I can't. Oh, there it is. There's number 12. So tomorrow we're going to be joining number one. And this is not, I can't remember what number this is now. Let's have a look. Number five. So there it is. So we're going to have this one joining these two together. So, okie dokie. Uh, Rose, absolutely, yeah. If you get to the end and you've got bigger gaps or something not quite working, so say, for example, we've got this sort of design here. If this doesn't quite work, you could stop this design, do a smaller one maybe, and then add something else into it or put a bubble, a larger bubble in and add a tangle in it. So there's always ways. Don't think that it's going to sort of be wrong because it, it isn't. And as we know, see, everything's going to be... Uh, a little bit higgledy piggledy till we start getting it together and then we'll see from there very interesting isn't it so okay there we go all done and sorted and i will catch you at some point tomorrow for number 12 which is that one there so take care everybody and hopefully see you in the morning if not um, i'm back on at three and uh, hopefully some exciting bits and pieces for you so all right all done and sorted see you later bye